Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the twelve tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Begotten Son, that 
whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. So brother right there, does that mean God loves everybody? Yeah. I want to say this, I want to hear this brother. Yeah. That means God loves everybody? Now come, come, can we talk? We gotta understand what the Bible's talking about. Because we have the false, we gotta spot the deceivers. What did he say? He said that John 3.16 says that Christ came and died for everybody. Now, if we're gonna read that, who is he speaking to? Right, brother? We gotta know who he's brother, we're gonna talk about it. Let's read John chapter 3, verse 1. Let's read it. John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So the Holy Bible says that Christ was speaking to one of his brothers. Right. One of his brethren, a ruler of the Jews. Right. One of the fellow Jews right. he was speaking to. So if I'm talking to a brother who's a fellow Jew, we have things in common, right? We must have our language in common. We have a common history. We have a common family bond, right? That's right. Let's read that again. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Everybody? And we know that thou art a teacher come from God. He says that we know. So that means not everybody knows about this. Right, sis? We're going to go over something very important. The book of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16, is one of the one been taken out of its proper context. Right. It has been taken out of its proper context because it's not, we don't even know what does John chapter 3 verse 15 say. How about John chapter 3 verse 14? But when we read John 3 verse 16, everybody knows that scripture. Right. Everybody knows John 3 16, but doesn't know who Christ is even talking to. Right. Let's read that one more time, 3 verse 1. John chapter 3 verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Okay, so now we establish the person. This is the person that Christ was speaking to. He was speaking to Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So he's speaking to a fellow brother, right? He's speaking to Nicodemus. Keep reading. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. So now we gotta understand something. John 3 verse, 3 verse 16. It says, read John 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So what does that mean, sis? What is that scripture? Whoever believe in him. It means that you're having everlasting life if you believe in him. So whoever the Lord Jesus Christ. Are we talking about the Holy Spirit? Let's explain that. You know that part where the Bible said that um, when Christ was teaching the world, and some of them, he said some of them is the children of God and the children of the devil. Right. So what does that mean? For well, that means not everybody was God's child. Exactly. Very good. Not everybody was God's child. No. That's very good. No. So now let's go to the book of Acts. So that, now we gotta know, sis, sis, listen up. We gotta know who Christ was addressing when he said whosoever, right? Let's, let's address it. Let's get Acts. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Ye men of who? Israel. Hear these words. So when it says whosoever, it's not talking about everybody. In Acts chapter 2, it just told you the whosoever it was talking about. Let's read that one more time. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. It says, ye men of Israel, hear these words. So it's the whosoever it was speaking about is the men of Israel and their family. So that's just, it's not talking about everybody. No. So that's what you know that the Israelites have something very special lead for them. There's a future for the people called the Israelites. But if they don't know who they are, they're not going to get what they're supposed to get. But the called are not everybody. It's not all nations. That's right. It's not everybody. Because check this out. Let's get John 17 verse 9 over here. Because the, you know what the problem is? It's the word world. When we hear the word world, we think everybody, everything. But when we read it, let's read this and let me see what you get from this. Let's read John 17 verse 9. Watch it. John chapter 17 verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for 
other world. One more time. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So the Bible just says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. See, that's giving you some more clarity on who he's talking about. You understand, sis? So he's not talking about everybody. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Now let's get John 18, verse 20. Let's read that.
children weaned from milk and draw from breasts. Okay. So Isaiah is giving us an analogy. God is going to teach children his laws and commandments. So you may say, okay, everybody. No, listen, come on. For precept must be upon precept. So he's giving further understanding on how you understand the Bible. Listen good. Precept upon precept. Come on. Line upon line. Come on. Line upon line. Come on. Here a little. Here a little. And there a little. And there a little. Meaning what? You can read about something in the book of Jeremiah. But in the book of Isaiah, it completes the thought. You can read something a little bit in John. But in the book of Exodus, it completes the thought. The Bible is not written in chronological order. It's all place right. that wh why yeah. because remember these writings were stolen at one point these writings were burned when you read the bible the greeks burned the bible right. every, every word that is true every word is true yes okay but what i'm showing you is how do you understand so go back to john uh 3 verse 16. you're gonna come back up so what i'm showing you brother you said you're from the tribe of levi you Haitian. you said you're african-american tribe of jew what i'm showing you sir and what I'm showing y'all, the Bible is about laws, statutes, and commandments, which we have to apply. We have to keep God's laws. One of God's laws is you cannot eat pork. That's a law. One of God's laws is how to dress. You, a woman cannot just wear pants. God's law says a woman must wear dresses and skirts. That's right. Now we're dealing with. That, huh? Now we're dealing with. Hey. All the time. Well, that's we don't. We try. We, we, we gotta be patient. I, 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 I believe in the Jewish. They stole. They stole. What? Shit. And Why do you think Jewish? Jewish that's what they women wear. They Listen good to this. They don't wear. We're addressing John three oh, sixteen. Oh, oh. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world." See, she feels it. So it says, "For God so loved the world." But we read another scripture. John chapter 3 verse 16, I but in John 17 right 9, it says, I pray for you, I, I pray not for the world. Listen Hallelujah. to this. John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Come on. That whosoever believeth in him, that whosoever believes in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Should not die but have everlasting life. So now, majority of the world says that means what? Everybody. Right? You get distracted real easily. The majority of the world said that means everybody. Let me get some Brooklyn. Watch. 17 verse 9. Listen to this. John chapter 17 verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou art given me. For they are thine. So Christ says, I don't pray for the whole world. Now, that has to mean John 3.16 doesn't mean everybody. So now, what does it mean? Go back to John 3.16. Listen good now. Psalm Listen 37. Good. Listen good. All praise you. It's good that you know the scriptures. You study. Listen good now. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he... Stop. Read that again. Listen good. Listen good. For God so loved... Stop. Who did God so love? The world. There you go. You know what he said? He said his people. But remember, listen good. Listen, read it again. Listen good. Listen good, miss. For God so loved. For God so loved. I hear it. Who did God so love? He loved the world, but he prayed for everybody he loved. It's a powerful Monday. You know what he said? He said his people. His people. Watch this. Deuteronomy. Psalm 35. Chapter 7. Let's read it. Watch. Remember, we're going to literally read what it says. We're not just going to say it. We're going to read it. Listen good to this. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an only people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God are chosen thee to be a special people. What, what book are we reading? Deuteronomy. Who wrote this? Moses. Come on. The Lord. Himself. Did it say the Lord thy God have chosen the whole world? It said, Thee. Who is Moses speaking to? 
to the people that just crossed the Red Sea. Listen good now. Above all people. Did it say you are equal with all people? No, it said you are above all people. Come on. Above all people that are up on the face of the earth. Now watch this. Listen to the next part. Listen good. The Lord did not set his love upon you. The Lord did not set his love upon you it didn't say upon everybody now in John 3 16 what did it say for God so loved loved that's why I said who did God love you don't read in the Bible where it says for God so loved everybody in the Old Testament Christ was quoting the writings of Moses that's right. Christ was speaking to a Jew Bring it a out. man that knew the history of the writings was talking to this man. Y'all understand, sisters? Come on. Keep reading. Oh, excuse me, when you say those people, when you say those people, honor me with their mouth. When, when it, it says those, those people, people, yeah, those people honor yeah. me with their mouth. In John 3, or, wait, oh, he said those people honor me with their mouth. Yeah, who's the people he's talking about? The scribes and the Pharisees and the chief priests. That's what he's talking about. So listen to this in John, Deuteronomy 7. Oh, yeah. Finish this. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people. So the love was talking about who, brother? God's people. How do we know? Because we went to Deuteronomy 7. We didn't just say, oh, everybody. We went there. What we're showing y'all is to understand the Bible, you gotta prove everything you say. Go back to John chapter 3. This is what the brother was showing you. We got to understand the Bible. We all see we all came out of the Christian church every last one of us that's right come out the church and the Christian church teaches young black men to be effeminate yes. that's the right. truth the Christian church does not teach black men how to be a man it teaches black men how to be young girls that's right but when you follow the Bible you will learn that that is not right. Christian no you're not listening miss you go back to church on me I need you to stay now, listen good, John 3 verse 16. Stay with me, miss, come on. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes. Now, we read the whosoever. We read whosoever already, right? We read whosoever, right? Whosoever addresses Israelites. Listen good to this now, watch. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. But everlasting life. Have everlasting life. So now, sisters, we want y'all to understand. Here's more proof that God does not love everybody. Romans 9.13. Here's more proof that God does not love everybody. Listen good. Listen good. Older man, you left me. You left me. I need you to stay with me. Romans 9.13. Listen good to this. Watch this. More proof that God does not love everybody. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob of I love, but Esau of I hated. What word did he use? He said the wrong things. What word did he use though? Hated. Hey, because Esau did wrong. But what does John 3.16 say? He said, if you do right, I will accept you, but, but you listen, do wrong. Listen, what does John 3.16 say? For God so loved the world. Right. And you know what people say? God loves everybody. Isn't that what people say? Yeah, people don't say that. So now, you said Esau did wrong things. That's right. Esau is the person, right? Yes. Watch this now. Give me Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. Watch this. Now I'm going to show you the people. I showed you the person, right? Now, sisters, listen. Brothers, listen. I'm going to show you the people. Listen good to this. Malachi chapter 1 verse 1. Malachi chapter 1 verse 1. Seth, come close. Come on. The burden of the world of the burden. Take your time, take your time. Y'all listen good, listen good. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel, to my Malachi. Come on. I have loved you, saith the Lord. There it is again. I have loved you. I have loved you, Israel. I have loved you. It is everybody. Come on. Yet ye say, we are in us, though love us. But wherein have you loved us, God? When the Israelites, where have you loved us? Come on. Was not Esau. We were talking about Esau, right, miss? Come 
Lord? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Was Esau and Jacob brothers? Yes. You know about the history? Yes. All right. When you read the book of Genesis, do you know about the history, miss? When you read the book of Genesis, Isaac and Rebekah had two children. They were twins. One was called Jacob. One was called Esau. We read a Bible scripture, right, in Romans 9. Jacob have our love. But what? Esau have our what? What was the word? Hey. What was the word, miss? Hey. Hate it. Hate it. See, this is why a lot of us, we get deceived in the church. Because a lot of us don't pay attention. So one was love and one was hate. Yes. Right. Yes. That's what we're going to read. Listen good now. Watch this. I, I love you, said the Lord. Who's the I love? Jacob. He said, yep, he said, where art thou love us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Esau and Jacob were brothers. They were twins in Genesis chapter 25. Come on. Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. And I hated who? Esau. Esau, his brother. Now you said, but that's the person. Because Esau did wicked things. But I'm going to show you about the people. Come on. And I laid its mountains and its heritage waste. God said, and on top of that, I not only hated the person, I laid his mountains and his heritage waste. Come on. For the dragons of the wilderness, we are as I, we are as Edom said, we are impoverished. Edom. Who's Edom, miss? E-D-O-M. Who's that? That is the people of Esau. Esau is the person. Okay. Edom. Edomites are the people. Oh. Israel is the person. Israelites are the people. Right. Come on. We are as Edom says we are impoverished. Edom said we are impoverished. We have nothing. Come on. But we will return and but we will return. Come on. We will return and build the desolate places. Because what did we read earlier? God said I will lay his heritage what? What was the word? Waste. Waste. You see, miss, we're different teachers. We're not pastors in a pulpit that's going to talk for one hour. We make sure everybody's following along. That's how you get the congregation to be of one mind. When you go into a church, everybody has different beliefs. But they all say, yeah, but I believe in pastor. Oh, yeah. You can't run a congregation like that. Listen good. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Listen good. Come on. Now, you say God hates the person Esau, and that's what the Bible said. But we're addressing, but what about the people? We're dealing with John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Watch this. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord. Now God says through our Malachi, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. Who's the they shall build? Esau. 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 They shall build. Listen. Wait, wait, Hold Esau on. wasn't Israel? No. Remember, Jacob and Esau were what? Yeah, but who's talking about Israel? Yes. Brothers. Very good. Yeah, but one was Israel. One was Israel. What? Take care, miss. One was Israel and one was e Edom. Okay. So God says, remember, I'm going to lay Esau's heritage what? Wait. Waste. <laughs> then he says, they're going to build. But I will what? Throw down. But God says, I'm going to throw down. Watch this. Listen good. And they shall cause them the border of wickedness. What did the Bible just say about the Edomites, miss? What shall we call the people of Esau? The border of wickedness. You see it? You see, there you go. You see how easy it is? Miss, this is why I want listen good. You say. You a new teaching on a new explanation. Listen good. No, it's okay. I want you to stay with us. Listen good, brother. We read in the scripture for God so loved the world. Then we read in scripture, the Bible says God hates another person. So John 3.16 can't mean everybody. Now, listen good to this. They shall build. Come on. I will throw it down and they shall, they shall call them the border of wickedness. Miss, what did he just say? They shall call who? Them. Them. Is that one person? 
person or people? People. So is it just a person that God hate? No, and the people. So wait, if God says I hate the people, how can God do that? You said it was Esau that did wicked things. Hated the people in many parts of the scripture because what somebody um when he when he born down Sodom and Gomorrah, yep. he was doing wicked things. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So does John 3.16 mean God's love the whole world? No. There you go. No. There you go. John 3.16 can't mean God just loves the whole world. What? What we're showing you, miss, is that we teach the Bible the proper way. Give me Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 now. I want to show you the law. John 3.16, what the brother showed you, it doesn't mean the whole world. It means the Israelites. He used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth